Hi, this is Simon with Drive and Fly RC, and this is actually my Sunday video. I lied and said I wasn't going to do one, but I had a nice anniversary and came home, and I have time to uh, do a small parts video for my SK450 build. I just wanted to do some unboxings and show you some of the parts that you're going to need if you're going to do this build along with me. Okay? Uh, so first off, let's start with this. Uh, you might have seen this before. Uh, this is a carbon fiber case. This is a carbon fiber case for my CC3D board. Just to make sure it's protected. It's going to be mounted right up here, probably. Um, when you mount these, they have to be stable, or they have to be on a flat surface. Um, plus, and then we're going to stick some sticky tape down there like that, and then... Uh, that should probably be sufficient just to keep it away from any vibrations that we can. Plus it's on this plate which is uh, not directly mounted to the arms, which should be good. Um, also, here, this is one of the cords that comes with the CC3D board. And then we'll pull this out real quick, just one second. Okay, this is the brains of the operation. Be, I'm going to be very careful with this. Uh, this is my CC3D board from OpenPilot, and this is the brains, uh, this is what's going to do all the flying, this is what we're going to do all the setup with uh, for the flight modes and get everything going. Um, this is my CC3D board, uh, this is a great board, um, especially if you don't like tuning and stuff like that. Um, you know, I hear a lot of people just set it up and they run through the ground control, which is through the computer. It's got a micro USB plug right there. Um, and they get it set up that way instead of messing around with the KK2 board. Um, and it's pretty easy to hook up. No soldering required. The servos plug in, or the ESCs plug into here. This goes through your receiver. Um, and then you mount it. That's going to be in here. In this carbon fiber casing but and then it comes with these uh, which are like you know plug in right here and then go to the receiver and then these are for like a different setup it comes with one of these I'm not exactly sure what they're for I've seen some people using them for like uh, their like uh, gimbal I guess gimbal control um, so yeah, there's my CC3D board. That's one very important part with a CC3D carbon fiber case. Now we'll move on, see what else we have here. Okay, now you just saw this cord, these two cords uh, for my CC3D board that you would have to actually add the servo heads on. Now I just ordered this uh, separately, which it already has everything set up, so I don't have to do it, which I really, really like. No soldering and no clipping it into these. I just didn't want to do that. So, also, this is another uh, of the leads for the gimbal controls, so, and this already has a plug on both ends, so you can just plug it in, uh, and that should be nice when I get a gimbal setup. Um, I'm not a big fan of soldering, so I bought the Hobby King power distribution board. This is an XT60 connector. Um, those are supposed to be really good for, uh, you know, getting the maximum amount of power out, especially when you have things that aren't soldered directly to the board. These are all gold tipped. It also has a little plug you can see there for uh, like an LED hookup with a JST connector. And it's just foam on the bottom to keep it away from vibrations, I guess. Now, um, this is nice if you don't want to solder your uh, ESC leads directly onto your your power distribution board it's already pre-soldered with uh, the banana connections and then it already has the uh, battery wire which again is the XT60 style uh, don't forget this this is a charging cable that goes into my my charger I have a uh, what is it an onyx 235 uh, charger that I'm going to be using this with this is the XT60 charge cable a uh, very important thing to have if you want to charge your battery which we'll move on to next all right, this is the battery I chose. I never really heard anything about it. Um, it was a pretty good deal, and it had the features that I wanted on it. So it's a it's a 3S 2200 mAh, 11.1 volt, 3S 1P. It's a got a discharge rate of 30C, 
And again, it has the XT60 connector on it, which is paramount for my setup, as you've seen with the other things I have. So this is going to be the power. This is what's going to give it the kick. Uh, we're also going to get a 4S LiPo in there and, and see how much power that puts out uh, eventually later on in testing. Okay, now we have some propellers that actually came in. These are some... Let's see, what is that? Uh, 8045L, these are 8 inch. And I've learned actually that these aren't going to provide enough lift with the, the 980 kilovolt motor that I have. So I need to get some 10 inch ones. So what I might end up doing, I said I was going to do a giveaway here. Once I get to 100 subscribers, I'll probably do a giveaway for these. And I'm going to do a giveaway here just really shortly. I think I need like 15 more subscribers. So if you could share this video with your friends. Um, it, you know, I want to help you get started on your quadcopter project, um, and, and hopefully these will be a great set for you if you're doing like a tricopter with a higher, higher voltage, uh, kilovolt motor, you know, these would be great for like a 1400 kilovolt motor if you're doing that setup on a smaller copter. So if you're doing that, uh, this will be a great prize for you. I'll talk more about my giveaway once I get to a hundred subscribers. Thank you guys for, for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. Um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and following my build for my SK450 quadcopter. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're just waiting for a couple things and we'll have them really quick and we'll get this build underway. So have a nice day.